Hello and welcome to Murfreesboro Storytellers. For this issue, we're originating from the offices of the Rutherford County Chamber of Commerce, located in, in Murfreesboro. And we're pleased to have as our guest, Amelia Bozeman, who is the Executive Director of the Business Education Partnership Foundation. Correct, Amelia? Yes, thanks for having me, John. Well, thank you. Tell, tell us to start out with your background that brings you to this position. Well, of course, um, as, as a parent, I really love education. I have a, a passion for education. I know what a good education mm -hmm. can do for a child. Education is the great equalizer. And um, that is just something that I have felt very strongly about mm -hmm. my entire life. Prior to coming into this role, I worked in public relations and enjoyed doing a number of different things for individuals and businesses and nonprofits. And that's actually how I first became aware of okay. Business Education Partnership. How did the BEP Partnership get started, the BEP Foundation? Well, in 1988, we had uh, a group of business leaders. We had help from the Chamber of Commerce, Nissan, State Farm. They were um, just having a lot of conversations about students and our graduates and our education system and they were concerned about the possibility of skill gaps mm -hmm. of students graduating from high school without the skills they needed to enter the workforce or to go into higher education and they believed that students needed to see more real-world examples sure. and they wanted to encourage innovation in our education system and the uh, Business Education Partnership was born. Our board chair, Emil Hassan, mm -hmm. at that time was senior vice president at Nissan. Nissan. Mm -hmm. And um, he's still with us to this day as our chair, uh, as is our treasurer, Jimmy Job of Job Hastings and Associates. He was one of our founding incorporators as well. And we are um, coming up on 30 years of um, being oh, part wow. of the education success story in Rutherford County. I'm assuming that funding comes from the businesses that are involved in this? That's correct. That's correct. We do um, get the bulk of our funding from our partners in business and we have partners um, on a very high, high end and then we have small business owners who believe strongly in, in what we do and they help us out as well. And we just absolutely appreciate so much our business community because they believe, just as we do, mm -hmm. that students really need to see how to connect the dots between what's going on in the classroom and how that transfers to a real career. Oh, sure. So it really prepares them for the world ahead then. Absolutely, absolutely. We have nine different programs. Okay. But at the heart, at the core of everything that we do is the desire to connect students with real people from the real world who can teach them about careers. And there are so many options for students today, but they cannot pursue those options if they don't know what they are. Sure. Let's talk about some of those nine programs, and uh, I believe you have a, a Nissan Mini Grant program? Yes, that's correct. Um, the BEP Nissan Teacher Mini Grant Awards, okay. that is our um, largest program and our oldest program. And um, what those do, we award teachers, teachers submit proposals twice okay. a year okay. uh, for projects that are not for classroom supplies mm -hmm. or desks or anything like that, but they are for those innovative, out-of-the-box approaches to teaching material. And they submit those proposals to our judges who then award those, um, those funds. We want to encourage teachers to continue to come up with great new ways to mm -hmm. teach without having to go into their own pockets to, to do so. Yeah, there never is enough money for education, it seems, and this gives those extra funds to be able to do these projects, I'm sure. That's absolutely mm -hmm. true. MTSU did a study on this particular BEP program and determined that the average BEP Nissan Teacher Mini Grant Award impacts 417 students. My word. Which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely phenomenal, and we're so thankful to Nissan for having that belief in and investing in our students in that way. 
they have been a faithful, faithful supporter of this program. And they do a lot all mm -hmm. over the community. But um, that has been our one of our programs from the, the very beginning. Overall, how many students do you reach in both the Murfreesboro City System and the Rutherford County System? All of them. All of them. Wonderful. We are, BEP is the only organization that was created to help both the Murfreesboro okay. City School System okay. and the Rutherford County School System equally. Mm -hmm. There are um, 52,000 students, 52,000 plus students right. in our county right now and we're here for all of them and for all of their teachers and school counselors and administrators. BEP has really come full circle. Mm -hmm. We have programs for students. We have programs for teachers and school counselors, and now we have some professional development programs for school administrators as well. Give us an idea of one of the projects that a teacher would apply for a mini grant. Well, uh, it really spans sure the, it the entire spectrum. Um, in the past, we have awarded programs for things such as more vocational training, okay. and uh, even in the arts, we tend to award a lot in uh, STEM subjects. Mm -hmm. We have funded robotics programs at schools. We have uh, funded some agricultural and agribusiness projects. We have done some really great um, beginning aerospace types okay. of things. We want to encourage teachers, whatever subject okay. they are teaching, find a great way to help students make that connection. Define STEM subjects for the benefit of our, our viewers for the program. STEM means science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay. And it's just a lot shorter to say STEM. I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, acronyms always help out. Let it. So, so that involves a, a number of uh, subjects then. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, students are doing some really fascinating things. Um, we did fund a program, an after-school STEM mm -hmm. club that was specifically aimed at encouraging girls to go into STEM subjects. Okay. Not to leave out the boys, there was a STEM club for boys as, as well, right. but um, there are some gaps in uh, the number of women who have gone into science, technology, engineering, and math careers, and of course anything we can do to encourage that, we want to we look at the uh, sectors in which we're supposed to, we're projected to have the most growth in our economy. Okay. And of course, that will be business, mm -hmm. um, advanced manufacturing. We uh, look at programs for um, logistics, all, all of those things, and of course, healthcare. We address all of those areas of high potential. We want to encourage our students to find find their thing, find their passion, explore lots of options, and go into careers that give them that great quality of life and enjoyment, and also that can uh, earn them the income to have the kind of quality of life that they, they want to have. Back in the old days, we used to have a program called Diversified Occupations. Helped you to find your, your niche, yes. where you went to school half a day, and then you worked on a job the rest of the day. There's which, which a lot of value in that. It was, and this is a much expanded uh, type of uh, approach. It is, and we have, of course, in, in the school's career in technical education, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of folks would be really surprised at the really fascinating things that are going on in those career and technical education programs, everything from uh, mechatronics mm -hmm. to biomedical to um, advanced manufacturing and of course business. There are so many opportunities and, and pathways for students now that didn't exist years ago. There's just so much, so no, much opportunity. How about the State Farm Summer Camp now? How does, how does that involve students? Oh my goodness, this uh, BEP, business, BEP Summer Business Camp presented by State Farm okay. is an absolute institution. Over the years, this camp has educated hundreds of mm. students in business. We introduce middle school students to business concepts through a competition. We place students into teams and then those teams have to come up with their own business mm -hmm. ideas mm -hmm. and they have to build a business plan around that idea. We bring in 
professionals from the real world, from the okay. business world. So it's not Amelia standing up there telling them how to do business. We bring in professionals from banking and finance, mm -hmm. from marketing, from human resources, and they learn all of these different things from real people who are doing them every day. And at the end of the two-week camp, we have pitch day, and uh, students have to pitch their ideas okay. to a group of judges. And we're really thrilled to be able to hold that camp over at MTSU um, at the Learning Resource Center, the McWhorter LRC. It's right. just a fantastic opportunity for kids to be on a college campus and, and learn mm -hmm. about business. And each member of the winning team gets a laptop. Oh my word. That's yeah. high stakes. That's a huge deal for a middle school student. And of course, this is all made possible with help from State Farm, mm -hmm. who uh, has been a tremendous supporter of BEP from the beginning. You've recently introduced several new camps, I believe you tell me, new That's programs. Correct. Tell us about those. Well, um, we introduced STEM X, again, that science, okay. technology, engineering, math right. experience. Oh, and experience. Okay. it's a one week camp for, it's a, all of our camps are day camps. And it's for middle, middle school students to explore careers in STEM fields. So we have done some really fantastic things. They um, explored chemistry mm -hmm. at Schwann Cosmetics. They spent time at Nissan for both the regular plant tour and the battery plant tour. We spent a day at the Bridgestone Mechatronics classroom, uh, SEC Civil Engineering, all of these opportunities for kids to get in there. And it's not a field trip, it's not a tour. They're doing real hands-on activities. Mm -hmm. And it's an incredible eye-opener for students to be able to get that hands-on experience and that might spark an interest in a future career. So that is a camp that is very, very popular. Our second new camp uh, is Camp MD, presented by St. Thomas Rutherford okay. Hospital. And it is a camp for students who are interested in careers in healthcare. Mm -hmm. And um, for a lot of kids who are interested in healthcare, they might think about, well, I want to be a doctor or a nurse. We need lots of doctors, we need lots of nurses, sure but there's is. so much more to healthcare than that. Mm -hmm. We look at everything from physical, occupational, speech therapy, respiratory therapy. We do all different kinds of things. We spend a lot of time at St. Thomas Rutherford. Okay. And then we also engage our other partners, such as TriStar Stonecrest, mm -hmm medical center such as Murfreesboro Medical Clinic. We uh, engage with TCAT, Tennessee College of Applied Technology and MTSU. Students can sit in on a real nursing class. They get to have experience with the mannequins that nursing students use to train. These mannequins simulate whatever health crisis mm -hmm. might be going on. Uh, they got to learn hands only CPR, they're mm -hmm. learning valuable skills. They had HIPAA training. It's incredible. It's a, it's a huge opportunity for students. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited and, and very proud of all of our, all of our camps. We aim our camps at middle, middle school students because in Tennessee, in the eighth grade, students have to choose their high school pathways. That seems very young, but that's, that's the reality and the pathways they choose will help set their high school schedules and determine what they do in school and we want to get this information to them in time to make those choices so uh, if we wait until they're already in high school it's kind of too late mm -hmm. so and there's a, is there a third camp you've started recently well our third new um, program was breakthrough and that is for that's a um, professional development and um, problem solving program for school administrators, okay. which was fantastic. We had fantastic response for that because our school administrators are educators, but they're also managers. That's right. They are also managers and they have to tackle a lot of the same issues that a manager in a business would have to tackle. So it's great to put our educators and administrators with our business people so that they can work on ways to streamline processes. Our other program that involves working directly with students is Youth Leadership Rutherford, okay. which we present in partnership with Leadership Rutherford. And it is for high school seniors 
juniors, high school juniors can apply to be part of the program for their senior okay. year. And that runs the entire school year. And we um, really explore different areas of our community and sectors of our economy throughout Rutherford mm -hmm. County and introduce kids to, um, we, we look at business and economic development, mm -hmm. what it takes to grow as a community, to grow as a county, as a city, and how, um, such as our Chamber of Commerce, how do they work to bring people to and bring businesses here. We look at industry and agriculture, mm -hmm. arts and quality of life, humanities and services, all of these things we do and look at through a lens of leadership. We also have uh, engaged our Youth Leadership Rutherford students in um, the launch of a new program. The EP was chosen by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation to help uh, launch LaunchMyCareerTN.org, which is a fantastic tool and resource for students, for parents, for employers to look at different career options in Tennessee. This was created specifically for Tennesseans to look at what the educa higher education and um, career options are in Tennessee. And so we really engaged our while our students on that as well. Is, is Business Education Partnership a national program? It is not. We exist solely. Just particularly right here in Rutherford for County? For Rutherford County, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I think that we have a great resource here. Um, of course, Business Education Partnership has a very long history mm -hmm. of, of supporting education and really improving our quality of, of life. It's all one great big mm -hmm. cycle and circle. Education improves the economy. It improves overall quality of life for everyone. Our business community is really engaged with us because number one, they live here. Their sure. children are going to school here. But also, they understand that if our students are well educated mm -hmm. and well prepared, they're going to come into the workforce and be a great resource, which in turn not only bolsters our existing businesses, but makes new businesses take a look at Rutherford County and want to look at here as well. Did we talk about SPARC? We did not. Another acronym. We did not. Um, SPARC stands for Students and Professionals Acquiring Real Knowledge. Okay. And we launched that. We actually received some national media attention when we launched mm. that program in 2014. We started out with two retired engineers from Nissan. Okay. Once again, our, our partners, um, Julie Corcoran, who is on our board of directors, and, and Wes Ballard. They're both retired from Nissan. And they introduced students to the engineering design process. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Um, they went into Smyrna Middle School and worked with every single sixth grader in that school and they taught the students through hands-on activities how designers, how engineers come up with concept cars. It was fascinating and what's so wonderful about that is there were students in those classrooms who might not have an engineer in their family, mm -hmm. uh, might not know of an engineer and when you're in middle school, when you're 12 or so years old, if you don't know one, you might not think you can be one. Sure. And that's the power of SPARC. That's the power of all of our BEP programs. We want to encourage students to pursue those, those fantastic careers. Not that all of our SPARC speakers are or have to be engineers, but that's, that's how, we, how we launched it. And we've certainly branched out significantly from Does there. Does that, that go on during the school year? It is during the school year okay. uh, and teachers can request if they have specific subjects mm -hmm. that we that they want to have some people come in and speak about we will find someone. We had a high school teacher contact us and ask us hey we have we would love to have a chemist come in and talk. Oh. I said okay we'll, we'll do that. Can you kind of give us some guidance what you want to cover? And this teacher said, well, we have these 17 topics. Choose one or, or however many. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, connected with Schwann Cosmetics and they sent two fabulous young chemists over there to work with the classes. And of course they were 
like rock stars. The I'm students sure. loved it. Once a teacher embraces the idea of Spark, I know it's hard to give up that classroom time, that instructional time, but our Spark speakers can actually help teachers um, with presentations that will help them meet those standards that they're already trying to meet, but to do it in an innovative and interesting way that only someone who's doing that job in real life mm -hmm. can come and do. We referred to the board of directors earlier in, mm -hmm. in our conversation. Yes. Uh, how do you come? Uh, how do you uh, get appointed to your board? Or do they have terms of office? Well, we have um, we have a wonderful, wonderful oh, sure board. They have been so supportive, and we have a great advisory board as well. We oh, have okay. our board of directors, and then we also um, have an advisory board. And we're always looking for for people who want to serve, for people who have the same passion for education. Mm -hmm. We have um, a number of people from the business world on our okay. board. We also have the directors of both school systems on our executive board, as are the chairs of both the city and county school boards. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, our wonderful partners in business. If anyone in particular wants to work with BEP in any way, we would love to, absolutely love to talk with them. Do many of your ideas for new programs come out of your board, or where do they originate? Um, just different different mm -hmm. places. For our Camp MD and STEMX, we really, Camp MD was kind of um, an idea that I'd had for a while, but mm -hmm. just wanted to kind of get things in place and, um, you know, you don't want to come into a role and immediately boom, boom, boom. Sure. I wanted to kind of see how our other camps were going and, and to design a model for that. Our STEMX camp, we just looked at the, the needs for uh, meeting those needs for our workforce mm -hmm. and kind of backtrack from there. Okay, we see this need. We need more people in, in such and such a field. How can we encourage students to become interested? How can we spark that interest in students? And we have found that one of the best ways to do that is through a fun summer camp in which we can teach them something while they're having a great time as well. Where do you typically do the summer camps? In, in the schools in the community or not, businesses? Or? Not, in, not in the schools. Uh, our BEP summer business camp that is presented by State Farm, we have uh, had the wonderful experience the past few years of, host, of being hosted by MTSU okay. College of Education. The McWhorter LRC uh, has hosted us mm -hmm. for that. Now, in that camp, we take a few field trips. We go to Nissan and, oh, and have a great experience with their HR department and students learn tremendous things about um, payroll and taxes mm -hmm. and all of those things in addition to the manufacturing and we take a few other field trips to actual small businesses with that but our STEMX um, camp we are on the road going to different places every day okay. and that's the fantastic thing they're going into real businesses and for Camp MD we are traveling to St. Thomas Rutherford, to TriStar Stonecrest, mm -hmm. to MMC, to see all of those different things and people in action. So we're on the go quite a bit. I bet. What is your greatest need, Amelia, for, for the future? Well, of and course. what does the future hold for you? Well, of course, we cannot do what we do without our partners in business sure. and our volunteers in the community. We're a small organization, but we do big things, and we could not do it without our many wonderful volunteers and uh, we would love to have anyone who wants to work with us and, and volunteer please get in touch who would like to support us uh, and support our programs through any number of sponsorship means we would love to talk with them as well absolutely and you are headquartered in the Rutherford County Chamber that's of Commerce that's correct building, right? that's correct we are honored to be associated with the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. and um, just uh, could not do what we do without the chamber's support. It's been a wonderful, wonderful relationship, and um, we're just thrilled, thrilled to be here. How much staff is there? Just yourself? Well, um, we have an assistant okay. as well, and uh, we again have our advisory board and our board of directors, and tons of fantastic volunteers. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. We have fundraising events. We have the BEP Mini Masters indoor 
golf tournament, which is a, a putt putt tournament. Oh, and we, a fundraiser. Yes, yes. it is. Okay. It's a uh, it's a tongue in cheek take on the Masters, on the actual oh, Masters. Oh, okay, wonderful. But we kind of have a little bit of a Caddyshack theme going on with that as well. <laughs> then we have uh, Burrow Bites and Brews Food Truck and Craft Beer Festival, which is a summertime event. It's a fantastic, fantastic fun time and uh, then we have our uh, BEP Drive for Education Golf Tournament. All of the proceeds from these fundraisers go to sustaining our current programs and laying the groundwork for new programs. So. New ones. If, if someone has a, uh, an idea for a fundraiser or an event they'd like to have, mm -hmm. they need to get in touch with you Absolutely, then. absolutely. And if there's someone in the community who thinks hey I, I see this need in education please contact us contact us we might be able to meet that need through something that we're already doing or you know we're always looking for great innovative oh, sure. mm -hmm. ideas and, and new mm -hmm. programs we have these wonderful programs but we don't rest on our laurels we want to always be on that cutting edge and so we welcome welcome new ideas absolutely not asking you to rank any programs one two three or anything like that but what if anything has given you the most thrill in in the BEP since you've been working with it oh wow well I love all of our programs sure. it's like saying name your favorite child mm -hmm. you, know, you can't you can't quite do that love them all, all all for different reasons but just to see that um, that light bulb go off okay. in a student's head in, in one of our mm -hmm. camps or to hear from teachers who receive many grant awards how things change okay. in their students and we get letters sometimes we get thank you letters from students in classrooms who've received many grant funding and just oh, to hear uh, hear their stories it, it, it is just wonderful and to know that all of our camps that we have for students uh, BEP Summer Business Camp presented by State Farm, mm. Camp MD presented by St. Thomas mm. Rutherford Hospital and STEMEX, they are tuition free because oh, of our wonderful, wonderful partners okay. in business okay. and the fundraisers of course that we that we hold. We want any student who wants to learn about these subjects and about these careers to have that opportunity. That's my favorite thing. Thank you Amelia. This Thank has been Amelia so Bozeman. Executive Director of the Business Education Partnership Foundation, and what a truly wonderful program you have, and we wish you well for the future. Thank you so much, John. Thank you for joining us for Murfreesboro Storytellers, featuring the Business Education Partnership Foundation and Amelia Bozeman.